Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be paddling to Soldier Key, which is this tiny speck of land really in the middle of nowhere, about seven miles south of Key Biscayne, right smack in the middle of Biscayne Bay. Um, I am really, really excited. It's a beautiful day out. The wind is about right. Uh, the tides look to be about right. So can't wait to get going. I'm just about to pass the Key Biscayne Lighthouse, situated right over there. The old still standing structure on the island. It's also the southernmost point on Key Biscayne. South of that is Cape Florida, Safety Valve, and way, way down there, you can barely see it on the horizon. You probably can't see it at all. It is Soldier Key, about five miles distant. So, a lot, a lot of open water to cover. I'm excited to get away from land. And uh, the paddle, get to the island. I'm about a mile north of Soldier Key, which you can see just up ahead. It has been a long paddle with no brakes, and uh, I'm just ready to hit uh, dry land again. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Soldier Key is basically just a tiny dot in the middle of Biscayne Bay. It's uh, maybe a hundred meters across at best, and it's completely uninhabited. Uh, and there's no fresh water. And but it didn't used to be like this. It used to actually have a house here. And you can see over here, the pier, where uh, used to dock their boats. It's now really, really run down. But you can still get on it. Now, there's Miami, way, way over there. Key Biscayne, Miami Beach, Cutler Bay, Palmetto. But if you look south over there, you can actually see, well, I don't know if you can, but I can, the Ragged Keys, then Boca Chica, and then Elliott Key. So, Soldier Key is actually the very first, or the, the northernmost of the true keys. So, keys have a limestone base. Uh, which is just, you know, hard rock, while Key Biscayne, over there, is basically just a big sandbar in the ocean. It has no foundation of bedrock at all. It's gorgeous out here. I'm standing on the foundation of what was a house. You know, maybe, I don't know, 40 feet or so in width. Here it is. There's part of a wall. And there's another piece of wall right here. And I'm not sure what this is over here, but uh, you can definitely tell that this place was habited at one point, not too long ago. Here's some sort of winch that was used to, I don't know, maybe bring in a boat. And uh, I don't know what this is here. Uh, I don't know, I can tell you, but it's really pretty because they embedded a bunch of conch shells into it when, it was, uh, when the concrete was still drying. Grab. There it goes. Here's the remnant of another structure, the center block, which is concrete. Uh, not sure what it was, but it's definitely gone now. This cormorant just dropped, uh, I think it's a uh, no, this is lobster. Yeah, lobster. Just down for the nest up there. It almost hit me in the head. <laughs> It's been a great time here, spent about an hour just hanging out, exploring, but uh, it's time to head back to Miami before the sun goes down.
exit, 14 and a half miles from Key Biscayne to Soldier Key and back. It took all day, well, not really, but it was absolutely worth it. The conditions were amazing. Couldn't ask for a better trip. And uh, thanks for tagging along.